wigs you see how i laid emphasis on wigs even beans i carry beans here ah jirova what that mistake don't make that mistake <laughs> How are you doing today? I trust you're doing amazing. If this is your first time stopping by, hello, my name is Kelly Chi and I'm a master student in Germany and I just share here with you what it's like to be in Germany, life in Germany through my vlogs and through my sit down videos and I also share um, useful nuggets, I like to call that, for people who are intending to come to Germany and people who are already here in Germany. So if that's the kind of stuff that interests you then subscribe to the channel be a part of the growing community and click on the notification bell that way when i have a new video you are instantly notified and you don't get to miss any of that okay so guys um i'm doing this video in response to a comment that i got on one of my i mean a request as a matter of fact uh i got in the comment section of one of my videos in the past couple of weeks someone is requesting to know what to pack for um, moving to Germany, okay, especially as a, I think she's coming here um, as a student, okay, so I want to just share with you Who requested and for others like you as well who would love to know First thing that I want to point out here is that I think it's um, It's important to note that I mean you're only entitled to 46 kilos of luggage to be checked in of course and 10 kilos as carry-on I mean that you would um, go on board with right so that means you are carrying two different luggages of 23 kilos each and that just means that you have to be mindful of what you put inside there and how do you do that by getting a skill it's very important to get a measuring skill that way you're not embarrassed when you get to the airport and then you're told huh, you have a lot of stuff here and then you have to start throwing out stuff that doesn't look good that looks very tacky okay so the very first thing you need to do is to get a measuring skill like I don't know from um wherever you are it's easy for you just find it and make sure that you are able to weigh your luggages before you leave your house okay and um it's also important to note that it's very nice if you could get a four-wheeler i mean a four-wheeled box enables you to you know carry your stuff with ease okay especially when you have arrived or even when you are moving like when you're going to check in because when you have a two-wheeler and then you don't have any help for example when, especially when you arrive and you don't have any help for example you have to drag this and that and that but with a four-wheeler it's easy for you to read everything at the same time okay so that's something i wanted to put out here now another thing that i feel like is important to note when you're packing is that especially if you're packing as an african there are, i can't say in capacity of asians because actually there are lots of asian stores i think there are even more asian stores than african stores so i think if you're asian and you're watching this and you're also wondering i think it's important to know what food is available here already and what you need to bring so now i am talking um on the capacity of an african like we have lots of afro stories here we have lots of food here though they are pricey but then they're they are most of them are not stuff that are worth stressing yourself to carry from your country like what i would recommend is that you just take mostly fish like any kind of fish you can lay your hands on just dry it and bring it along because fish here is generally very very expensive unnecessarily expensive i don't know why so anything ground fish and melon seeds pack these in quantum for you to come to germany but uh any other thing you can get it here trust me like don't make the mistake i made when i was coming here i carried everything down to powdered milk down to gary down to salt my mother packed salt for me and maggie thank you mama <laughs> so what i'm trying to say is that um these things were they were so much load and they were not necessary you understand to come here. even beans i carry beans here. ah jirova Oh, that mistake don't make that mistake it's unnecessary because you're just making your bag heavy for nothing so carry as much fish as all that money you want to use and spend on that thing carry as much fish as fish as you can and melon seeds now the second can. thing i want to mention is for my ladies you know our hair is our pride right and you want to make sure that you get as much hair extensions and this includes attachments and wigs you see how i laid emphasis on wigs carry as much wigs as you can because girl <laughs> when you come here you're likely going to be if you don't see if you don't have enough money to braid your hair you will wig for a very very long time so get your wigs get your ponytails get your 
um attachment so that if attachment doesn't work you have your hair extension you have your ponytail like you have your wigs especially in the winter seasons like personally i enjoy braiding more in summer than in winter during winter just give me my wigs and i'm good to go because i just feel like it covers me a lot because i get cold from my head easily okay so i don't like to leave my hair open like with braids in winter but if i have to I always have to wear cast well that's besides the point my point is come with as much hair extensions as you can because these things get very expensive here and also braiding your hair gets very expensive i mentioned this in one of my previous videos about um things to know before coming to germany so if you haven't seen that video when you're done with this one go and watch it i'm also going to leave the link here okay so also speaking to the ladies i mean i know that we ladies have more sensitive skin than the men so if you know any toiletries or um um makeup that you are used to already i think it would be in your best interest to come with these and then gradually gradually acclimatize to what we have here and you know think of changing in the coming months as you arrive because i mean what's available here may not be suitable to your own skin upon arrival and you're likely to maybe react i don't know i'm just telling you from experience so i think it would be wise to come with your own stuff and then later on submerge into is that the right word you understand what i mean gradually get into what's available here okay and the next thing on my list will be medication right if you have a pre-existing illness i think it will also do you a word of good to come with your own medication whatever is peculiar to you especially malaria drugs guys if you're coming from africa i think it would be nice for you to come with your malaria drugs your malaria tablets because there is no we don't know what malaria is here in europe in germany so i think it would be in your best interest to come with your malaria drugs that way when you come over here and for some reason there is some leftover in your system that drug can take care of it okay also it's important for you to come with some sort of balm you know um because there is it can get cold here and then you moving from a tropical zone to a temperate zone it can be you know it can tell on your body so it would be in your best interest to probably come with some sort of balm to keep yourself warm alongside other things as well okay and um am i missing something in the medication i don't think so next thing that you have to bring along which is a no-brainer is all your documents like every single document in your name should come with you here to germany i mean imagine that you have need to do something with one document or the other and then you don't have it here and then you have to start calling people back home to send it to you through dhl that's a lot of money and you don't want to do that so ensure to come with all your documents okay and speaking of documents it would also be in your best interest if you'd like to have your driver's license in germany if you already have one back home i think it would be in your best interest to come with your driver's license that way you are able to drive for the first six months when you come to germany that's if anybody gives you their car anyway or you can do your not even or and you can do your umschreibung umschreibung is a faster way of getting your driver's license if you already have a previous one from your home country so at the end of all that yada yada blah 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 you just give them your driver's license and take the german one i don't know if that made sense but yeah that's that for your document and the last one on the list guys please don't pack too much clothes and shoes when you're coming to germany it's unnecessary like take just what you need because when you come here you're definitely going to go shopping for new items like you would want to buy new stuff so please don't bother carrying a lot of stuff take just what you need okay and when you come here you do all the shopping yes it's not so expensive everything get level you understand everything has its own level so you can find your level buy clothes and you know just look good and then when you start to earn more you can shop according to your budget but please don't carry unnecessary clothes except they're like your special traditional native dresses that you really want to rock here but unless that please don't bother carrying a lot of stuff because it's useless you end up throwing them away okay so i think that's that for this video if i'm forgetting anything please if you're in germany and you're watching this i mean let me know if I'm forgetting something and then please leave it for the others in the comment section to know. But otherwise, I think these are the basic stuff, okay? Sure, don't carry your necessary load because you see yourself 
flinging they will fling it at the airport especially if you don't buy the weighing machine the weighing scale to measure your stuff so guys that's that for this video i hope it's helpful to you and i hope you um share this video with anyone who you think would need it okay so please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed and i will be seeing you guys in the next video peace done cheers